Welcome back, my name is Benji and today I want to welcome you to another Tour de France 2020 video. On this one we're gonna be diving into a race that I've done already but only a little bit. In the first video we did on TDF 2020, I dove into LBL, La Doyenne, and today I'd like to do that again but now focusing on the race solely. When it comes to our settings I've got the champion difficulty, I can't do legend yet and to be honest I'm not ready for that. I'm not that amazing at this game as you've all seen in the last week. On the team selection screen, something is already noticeable. The update has happened on the 9th of June. We've got the upgrade of the shirts of Alperson and also the shirts of Ineos. So finally Ineos is in the game. That is brilliant. I'm going to be playing with one of those two teams and I'm going to go for Alperson Phoenix because I want to win this with Macho Vanderpool. Seems like a very fitting rider for the race. The mission is top three, but I've got the feeling is more of a favorite than, for example, Fulsang. The last few climbs there, I think it's Hosho Fokon, but I'm not sure about it. It's definitely not overly difficult in the sense that Vanderpool can survive while a Fulsang will have a hard time attacking away with his acceleration and such. Ala Philippe might be able to get away, but it's Vanderpool, man. Come on, we gotta do this. I am going to slightly alter the team. We've got Vakoc in the team, which is what I like, but Merli at his hill is 65, so I might as well leave him home. I could get a guy like Jimmy Janssens, for example, in there, who has 73 hills, so let's replace them. But Ugly has 75 hill. We've got Fwaits with 69, and Medolo, that's going to be lower. 69 as well. I think I'm going to switch Fwaits for Johnny Mersman. Yes, 73, and we've got Medolo. Let's take a look here. 74 on Rizabek on hill. That's OP, but I don't mind. It's but Ugly, 75 hill. It's just, it's just so OP, man. Come on. The dude hasn't done anything in years. Anyway, I think that's going to be our team. Vakoc as the main helper for Vanderpool, I think. He's got 74 hills, so actually, Sparagli might end up being the best helper here. That's the funniest part of it all. Anyway, Ladoyen, numerous hills and short climbs litter the liege baston liege route, making this race one of the most demanding of the season. Punch, resistance, endurance are three qualities that are required if a rider is to see his name added to the list of winners. I think this is also the oldest of the monuments but i'm not 100 sure of that on the right we can see our mission is simple we need to get a top five but let's be honest i came here to win stats wise we've got on the right flat 80 8 acceleration 78 hill we've got a solid 79 cobbles which won't come into play today nonetheless we've got the stats to do nicely here we've got resistance of 81 which is going to be really important and the stamina of 78 which is also important since the race is 260 kilometers and utter madness Anyway, let's dive into Liège, Baston Liège, and let's try and win it. Oh, here they are, both the shirts next to each other, the new shirts in the game. And they look good, not going to lie there. And we should also have the Sunweb helmets and the Lotto Jumbo, not Lotto Jumbo, Jumbo Visma helmets. But generally, I don't know what those helmets are supposed to look like. I think we've got one on the right here pretty soon. Yeah, right there, he's riding away. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. I don't know if that's the correct one. I think it is. It looks different, so I guess the helmets are in. I <laughs> can't say more about it. One thing I do want to do is something I promised a while back at the first video that we did. I want to crash in first person now that we have an opportunity to lose a rider here. We won't necessarily need all our teammates, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and crash in first person with Janssen in a downhill preferably. So I think I'll wait until I see a proper downhill and then I'll try and do so. There we go, a downhill, and we're going to try and go ahead and crash, but we need a proper corner for that. I don't just want to crash into, like, a random position. Let's try and do it in this corner here, right there, maybe. That would be a good corner. Let's go right now. <laughs> that was way too anticlimactic. That was totally not worth the effort at all. Oh, my God. Like we just flew over the handle bike. We, we didn't even stay in first person. We were just thrown out of the body there. Aw. So it's technically a third person crash. That's kind of disappointing. Not going to lie. With a good 60 kilometers to go, we are isolated in the group with Vanderpool. I tried to give my teammates their blue gel, but unfortunately they ran out before the next feeding zone. So that's not amazing. My guy Vanderpool is doing pretty good though, but they're really pushing and I'm trying not to spend too much energy. It's also the reason I'm mostly at the back of the group, because I'm trying to spend as little as possible. And it seems to be working, but I need to try and find a way to stay in the draft of others. 
and not get caught with riders that keep dropping. So would be nice if I could follow Balbao's wheel here and not drop behind the rider that is dropping as well. Whew, that was a rough one, Col du Rosier. And we now have 19 people in the group. We are the last one in there. We're aerodynamicing. Is that a word? Now it is in the peloton here. Diving forward. Gonna switch to first person for this one. Much more fun. In Wellens's wheel. Let's try and get past Wellens. Ooh, this corner is gonna hurt if I do it. Whew, that was not ideal. Oh, ho, 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 that was deadly. That's probably not healthy. In real life, crashes would have happened. For sure. We are in a pretty mediocre position on one of the most important sections, the Côte de la Redoute. I'm gonna try and move up a bit before it starts deepening out on the left here. Gonna try and follow, but these guys are really pushing it. I'm trying not to go too ham here. Trying to spend as little energy as possible because we're gonna need it towards the end here. Get in the wheel of Gilbert. Let's try and get past them actually. I wonder how much hill Gilbert has these days. Holy, Gilbert just uh, had an issue there it seems. Wood's still ahead of us, Landa, Sharkman, I think Bernal as well. I think that's the Ineos rider at least. I think that's Roglic on the right and Molema on the left of us. Yes, indeed. We're now with a group of 38 again. Potentially people came back, but someone's pushing at the front though. That Ineos rider is kind of pushing it, but not too much either. We can go a bit slower. We don't need to go ham here. That Ineos rider is not going to ride away to the finish line with 36 kilometers to go, I would expect. So let's just hang on. La Redoute has been survived. We are slowly but surely moving into the final of this race though in the first group now. 26 men in this group. This is getting tenser and tenser. Oh, that was a wide corner. Very wide and Sharkman pushing it. Côte des Forges. Are they gonna go on this one? Gilbert's really pushing it. That attack is really going. Oh my god. I actually have to spend my red to try and follow this. Oh, I don't like doing that though. But I have to. I kind of have to. I'm gonna replenish that red anyway, so we might as well spend it now and replenish it in the downhill sections upcoming. Let's get to the front of the group again. She'll bear stopping, so I'm not sure why the attack was worth it then, because yeah, he's not pushing through with it. This is also the kind of race that I would like to try with Vincenzo Nibali as well, because all these downhill sections on all these hills would be really cool to try and test that out if I can win it in the downhill instead of the uphill. This is a sneaky corner. This is another one of those. There we go, in the wheel of Sharkman and Gilbert. Gotta watch out with Sharkman, but I think he's still working for Sagan, who is still in the group. Fulvade is still with us as well. I think Alaphilippe as well. On to the last clown of the day, Rocio Faucon. I'm gonna set up my own tempo here at a very high pace, but I think people are gonna fly past me pretty soon. Yep, we've got Gilbert pushing it. Gonna try and counter that a tiny bit. And we've gotta move, we've gotta move by Molema. Molima's pushing it. Molima's pushing it. We're trying to follow without spending too much. I think that's gonna work out. We gotta follow that directly to his wheel. Let's try and sit up with him. Should I use my red thing? I think I will. There we go. Not too much though. We've got a downhill to come. There we go. Now we can recover our red a bit. Straight downhill and make sure we follow these others because we need to have this race and then a sprint. We are perfect for that right away. Oh, we've got to move. Wellens is trying to go. Kwiatkowski trying to follow. Fulsang as well. Colbrelli on the right. Volverde on the left. Trying to hold on. I don't want to spend too much energy in this group either. Trying to hang on to the guys that are attacking. Molima once again. Just the same as on Rocho Faucon. But he's not going to fly past Wellens it seems. Trying not to spend too much red either. Because we're going to need it towards the end. And we're closing towards that end. 11 kilometers left. And we're going to ride towards the edge it seems. Oh my god, we've got to move by Fulsang on the flat section. He should not be allowed to do that. Oh my god, these guys are sprinting for that. I think they're going to close it down though because of this. That is brilliant for us. As long as we don't spend our red energy on this. Ala Philippe closing it down for us. Brilliant, Julien. Thank you very much here. Looks like Yates will try and bridge over that as well. Trying to not spend red here, but he keeps going, Yates. Oh my, that corner was terrible for us. Seven and a half kilometers. We just gotta hang on, man. We just gotta hang on. We're now in second wheel with six kilometers to go. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this up. We've got Kwiatkowski trying. Ooh, almost just ditched him there. Let's try and follow the attacks. Sagan's wheel, maybe. Oh, I gotta do something myself now. Let's try and follow the wheels here. 
We've got a bit of a downhill section though. If I can do Iro, I might be able to pass them because that is way more efficient. Getting blocked here a bit. There we go. Let's keep pushing. And we're gonna go into this corner, 6%. So this is indeed going to be it. Let's go fast pass and for the last part of this race. Let's keep pushing it. 3.7 kilometers, very bad corner for us. Let's keep going. The others didn't do that very nicely either. So that's our benefit here. Let's keep going, let's keep going. And we're now in the last one half kilometers with Macho Vanderpool. Can I sprint properly in fast pass? And that is the real question. I've never really done this properly. They're really going for it already. 1.7k to go. Oh my God, I need to sprint early then to try and catch them still, but I think it's gonna work. Oh, I'm gonna go early, I'm gonna go early. 600 meters very soon. We're going too early, I think. We're going too early, I think. Are we going to go way too early? I don't think we will. We're gonna keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Bike throw, and there we go. I think we made it on the line because that Sunweb rider came really close, but Macho Van der Poel wins Liège with Stan Liège with a bit of a sneaky early sprint, to be honest. Let's take a look at how... Oh, that was weird. Those legs. Let's take a look at how close they came. We see him sprinting there. I think it's Matthews probably. Ah, uh, we we had like a, a pretty solid gap after that launch. If we go back earlier, we can see how fast we flew past them at this moment here. So we go past these guys and they stop at the front. So we've got an easy way to get to the front while nobody's really sprinting for it. So it's a bit of an AI mistake, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, we've got our victory. Ladoyen, MVDP for the win. There we go, on the podium, staking the victory home today. Macho van der Poel of Alpecin Phoenix. In the end, honestly, a very fun race to ride in this game. Really enjoyable, really realistic as well. The climbs seem to be the ones that do the damage in real life as well. Those are the decisive ones in game as well. Nonetheless, there's one negative thing about all of this. LBL is so long, man. Like the first half of it, I can't do anything. That's honestly my only negative point about it, but it's a pretty big one if you have a game that can't really fast forward too much because you can fast forward, but let's be honest there, it's not exactly skipping half the race instantly, so it's a bit of a waste of time the first half of LBL here. Anyway, that's just my personal opinion. Obviously, other opinions can be different, and I'm accepting of those, so yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. We're gonna do some more of these in the future where we will ride certain races with certain riders. If you've got suggestions, for example, I want you to ride more one to with Quintana and such, just send it towards me. I'll definitely try and do your suggestions. Anyway, I'd like to thank every single one of you for watching this video. If you liked it, tap that like button. If you didn't tell me what's wrong, I'll try and make it better for you next time. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you soon. Goodbye.